Hey, welcome back. So in this video, I was going to show you the importance of properly sizing uh, media filters and how restrictive they can actually be if you, you know, if you size them too small. When I say media filters, I'm actually talking about the whole house media cabinet filters. Yeah, I'm just going to be showing you the effects of the static pressure and, you know, how to remedy that. So stay tuned and let me know what you think. Yeah, another thing I like about this monitor menu, you can see, well, as you can see now, the um, electronic expansion valve is stepped down. It's about 50% open now, 276 steps. Um, cool temperature, it's 37 degrees right now. Just been running for about five minutes so far. Gas temperature, 59. So now you can see before that was reading like 126 and like I said um, even with it off it shouldn't have been reading that high so we know there's definitely something wrong with that gas temperature. Um, super heat. Let's see here. 21 degrees that's about perfect. A little high actually. Yeah, super heat's a little bit high, but uh, it's like I said, it's only been running for five minutes or so. It's probably about to stabilize. Airflow data. Humane airflow 1536. Calculate airflow is 1535. It's pretty cool. I like this here as well, the uh, external static pressure. And as you can see, remember what I said when I first got here about the whistling here at the cabinet? Um, so that's the reason for your over inch of static. About a 20 by 20. Cabinet, filter cabinet, so you can see what happens when I pay this filter out. Still pretty high. I'm gonna make sure they don't have any other filters. Oh, there it goes. 0.85 now. The motor finally ramped down. 0.77 so that's why it's really important I mean this is a new filter as you can see brand new um, that's why it's so important to make sure you size your media filters properly because um Cold temperature is 41 degrees. Got a super heat of 16 degrees. Opened up the EV, opened up a little bit more. I love this machine, I mean, it's really cool. Constant airflow. Let's see what the airflow is now 1536 now, 1549. Static pressure 0.72 now, so got a 0.72 static. So yeah, 20 by 20 on a 
Um, I think this is a C48. I think that's a four ton. So yeah, 20 by 20 on a four ton of the bottleneck. No good. No good at all. Just something to think about. Um, never messing with, you know, doing these variable speed systems. And like I said, this could go down, to, this could afford to go down a little bit more. I think we've got a high static going through this ductwork as well, probably because that plenum, because uh, that takeoff goes straight hard 90s out. You know what I'm interested in doing though? Even though I don't really have the time, I'm going to check and see if my manometers will show me the same static. I want to do that actually. Really interested to see. See ya. A little bit off, but...